to the to the woman that he went to see. The, the text describes the trip back. And so on the way back, what happens is that is that he comes to that same area where the lion attacked him and where he knew that he had left the body, the carcass of that lion. And so, and so uh, as memory would have it, he decided that what I'm going to do is turn aside and see what has happened with the carcass of that lion that I slayed. You see, and, and when he got to where the carcass was, before he could even get close, he saw, he saw bees flying around the carcass. And then as he come closer, he could see that there was a honeycomb that the bees had, had constructed within the, within the chest cavity of that, of those remains. And, and so he gets even closer, fans away the bees, and he takes his hand and he puts it in to, to take some of the honey. And he tastes the honey. And he says, this is some of the sweetest honey I have ever tasted in my life. You know, and so it's amazing. And I, I and see what I wanted to what I wanted to say uh, to somebody here tonight. It's amazing at the how Samson found sweetness at the point of one of his life's most bitter conflicts. Yeah, it's, 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 the, the thing is that, that that's why that's what I need somebody to hear tonight is that is that you can find sweetness in the same place that you encountered bitterness. And, and, and listen to this, listen to this, that it was it was a severely bitter conflict. You see, and then he says it was an extremely sweet honey. You see, the, the intensity of the sweetness was determined by the intensity of the bitterness. Somebody, 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 somebody should talk to me. You see, the thing is that if you got to deal with something that's really bitter, don't, 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 you know, don't give up, don't, you know, don't, don't throw in the towel, don't, don't throw in the towel, just, just hang in there a while, because, because you'll experience some sweetness that, that is, that is as, as intense or more so than the bitterness that you experience. And you see, there, there are several lessons that I, I just want to share in these next few minutes about this. You know, the, the, one of the first things I think that we should that we should uh, embrace as we deal with the bitter sweets of life is the fact that there's always a bigger picture. There's always a bigger picture. You know, turn to somebody and tell them there's a bigger picture. See, you see, there, there's a bigger picture than what we see. You know, sometimes we can get so lost in our own experiences until we just see the little bit that we are feeling. In other words, we, we get in the middle of a bittersweet situation and all we can feel is the bitterness. You know, and, and, and the thing is that we, we kind of think that we've kind of been picked out to be picked on, you know, that, that, that for some reason that I'm the fall guy and that I'm the one that's got to go through this or I'm the one that's got to handle this or I'm the one, you know, that's got to deal with these kind of circumstances. And what happens is that we, we paint a little picture. Yeah. And that picture is too small for the divine agenda. You see, because no matter what happens in our lives as individuals, what we've got to know is that it's a part of a bigger plan. You know, it's a bigger picture than what we see and what 
we got experience. Am I talking to somebody in here tonight? You see, it's a bigger picture. And some of us are so sometimes, you know, caught in this uh, world system of things that we 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 become so selfish that we really do feel like it's all about me and it's all about you know my little world and what's going on in my in my life you know and what's going on with me but the thing is that God's got a bigger picture going on you see he's got a bigger plan than that and, and, and what's happening to you is just a small portion of that bigger plan and, and what's happening right now is just a minute selection of what God is doing on the overall plan of things. See what Samson teaches us here is that is that you know you can have some bitter things happen in your life and you can let them make you bitter. And anybody here with me? You know, you, you, yeah, you can, you, the, and that's what we have to be concerned about, is that when we encounter bitterness, that we don't become bitter. Because, because the truth is, it's so easy, you know, and all of us, all of us have well learned by now that it's hurt people that hurt people. Yeah, it's wounded people that usually wound folk. It, it, it's, it's because we pass on that stuff that, that happened to us. But Samson didn't pass it on. He dealt with it. And he dealt with it in the proper way. Dealt with it by the grace of God. He, he dealt with it because he recognized somehow that it was part of a bigger picture, a greater plan. And then another lesson I think that's important for us to learn, and we can grasp this one easily, if we would just keep record, listen to this, keep record of the positive outcomes of negative situations. 